it's Lizzie Hosking and I'm the celebrity director at Cosmo. Um, so basically I look after all of the celebrity content of the magazine, so I line up um, all of the celebrity shoots and interviews. Um, I do the cover interview, attend the cover shoots, um, and then either do the inside interviews myself or freelance them out. I went to Cardiff University to study English Literature, um, and I think it was the first Easter break, so the April. Um, I just I'd always loved English literature, that was the thing that I loved all throughout school, I had a great English teacher um, and that really inspired me and then I got there and it was just, for me, I was just analysing books. You'd read a book and you'd analyse it and it, you know, I'd have to sit up and make myself do something that I used to love. So I got to the April Easter holiday, which was a month, and I got offered work experience at Elle magazine. Um, so I came to London to stay with a friend. Uh, at the end of the month they asked me to stay. So. I just kind of quit my degree and moved to London and I didn't tell my parents for about a year. So I'd be on the phone to my dad walking down London going, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I'm in Cardiff, yeah, I'm just about to go to a lecture. Because it just, for, for him, a degree was kind of the be all and end all of life because he didn't get to do one. Um, and so it wasn't until I actually got my job on New Woman that I finally told him that I'd been living in London for the last year. The first year was really, really, really exciting. But also, I mean, I literally, without exaggeration, lived on a kilogram of Tesco Value porridge per week that was bought for me by the editorial assistant at Elle, which was 39p. And I, you know, you remember back. And yeah, it was really exciting because for the first three months, I wasn't, I was kind of, you know, making people tea and opening the post and stuff. And then after three months, I was asked to just go out and write a little thing. It was 50 words or something. And when I did it, the features director there at the time just said, oh my God, you can actually write. And I was just like, oh, I can't even describe to you. I was just over the moon. And then they kept giving me more and more things to do. So the features director at Elle literally went to the editor and said, we've got this girl, she's been with us for a year, she's really good, and so on. Um, and then through that, I got a, a, a job as editorial assistant on New Woman, and then went from junior to junior writer, celebrity writer, entertainment editor, uh, which was really great. So I kind of fell into the celebrity route because um, I think you kind of get to a stage on most magazines where you choose either to do features in real life or celebrity. So I kind of went that route because it just interested me. It, it's fun and I love doing interviews and it, it's totally my dream job as well as everybody else's, so it's great. I moved house recently and I found this when I, when I was moving house. And I basically had kept all of the rejection letters for work experience and everything that I'd ever got. But they were literally, like these are all just saying, no, you can't have work experience. It was with film companies as well, so Now Magazine. Um, looks magazine and, and there were just loads but it just I think it just shows that rejection I don't know for me I think I, there are so many rejections in there mm -hmm. but the people that reject you don't know your skills and don't know this so I think you just have to keep on if you're confident that you can do something and if you really want to do something I think you need to keep on with it to show the people that are rejecting you that you can do it actually I mean, I remember one of, actually, one of the highlights of my life was about, probably about four years ago, where for the first time in my entire life, my dad came, came up, he came up to London, and then when he left, he just turned around and he said, I'm really proud of you. And I just was like, okay, dad, yeah, fine, bye, like that, and then ran away and went over to my boyfriend's house, and I was just crying, and my dad just said he was proud of me. Um, 